What is up my nerds of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is Warzone. So as of recording Warzone will be coming out today around 3pm I'd say and this will be free for everyone to play. So the new thing we know is there are going to be two game modes coming with Warzone and that of course is Battle Royale and Plunder. So everyone knows about battle royale but a little bit about plunder is it's actually a respawn enabled game and the goal is to get as much money as you can now i don't know how much the limit is but i'd say it'd be around a million dollars i'd say to collect and you win the game so more about the battle royale is the lobby now just like fortnite or blackouts you will spawn into a lobby with your team and there is not, I repeat, not going to be 200 players in the game like we thought. And I'm presuming that's because they can't get all the mechanics to work with 200 players. And they could possibly be like say you have somewhere for example Tilted Towers from Fortnite where everyone used to land. And there was just too much things happening at once for your game to actually handle. So they put it down to 150 players, which is still fine in my mind. It's it's still perfectly fine. Like, Of course, when the game actually starts, you see a cinematic scene, which was actually played in the trailer that was released yesterday, of you with a bunch of people getting ready to jump out the back of a plane. And the map is actually quite big, to be fair. I'll actually try and get a picture of it and put it in. If I can, it'll be here, and I'll just kind of say all the places that are actually on the map so there is dam military base quarry airport storage town which is a weird name but go ahead anyway tv station yet another kind of weird one a uh, superstore boneyard stadium lumber farmland hospital train station promenade west promenade east hills downtown park port and prison now on the right of the screen we actually have a list of things so first off we have squad we have squad leader ping and loadout drop next we have uh, contracts this is bounty recon and scavenger after contracts we have poi which has buy station and finally then we have vehicles ATV, SUV, heli, cargo truck and tack rover and all of these have icons beside them so that you know exactly what they are. Also I saw that once you drop from the plane you actually see the names of locations floating above where the uh, location is which in my mind it's actually pretty cool because you can actually be like oh yeah yeah let's land quarry and if somebody isn't looking at the map or anything and they're like panicking they can just look around and see oh this big writing says quarry this one says lumber let's go it's quarry that i need to go to so actually the bottom left of the screen will show your team which now has been confirmed that there is teams of three at launch now there is no solo there will be 3v3 for the start also at the bottom left is your health and your health is actually the white bar and this is a hundred hp just kind of like in 2v2 or just in multiplayer this over time auto regenerates so you don't actually need to heal up which in my mind is kind of dumb because battle royale has the healing up feature this is the one that almost all big games do fortnite has it apex legends has it blackout has it now over your health is a blue three blue lines and each section is worth 50 hp or 50 armor so you can only have three pieces of armor and that gives you 150 which is nice i guess it it adds on to your already 100 xp starting off with, which is pretty good you also get a mini map which is just like the normal call of duty mini map however in warzone if you shoot you actually come up on the map unlike modern warfare's multiplayer now there 
isn't actually a dome but there is a gas just like h1z1 and seemingly it actually really really hurts you and seemingly you can purchase a gas mask which will help you in the gas for a small amount of time it might be 10 seconds or 15 seconds or 5 seconds and the top right of your screen will show how many teams are in the game that has how many players are actually in the game and then beside that will have how many kills you have now it doesn't show the assists or the knocks that you have which in my mind is kind of not great because i kind of want to see that because i know apex legends if anyone plays that in apex legends you actually have the kills and your downs on the top right of your screen or your assists sorry and that's pretty cool i kind of really like that now the looting system as most people have been saying is just like Fortnite. however a unique thing in modern warfare is the chests now you have regular chests and you have rare chests these are kind of like the Fortnite chests where you can actually hear them before you see them but of course they're just better now the weapons in warzone are the same from multiplayer however the stats and everything have been redone and reworked so maybe what's good in the multiplayer might actually not be good in warzone so just keep that in mind when you're playing it however from the videos that i've saw people have been saying shotguns are op in warzone and snipers are always always as of now always at the start of warzone are going to be 250 damage to the head also no attachments are going to be on the ground you actually have to find weapons that are in color so say green will give you one attachment uh gold might give you four or five attachments i don't really know how it's going to work but that's based the basics that i can understand fortnite system with the colors and then just add attachments onto them as well so ammo will you'll actually have to pick up different ammo so this is actually going to be just like apex legends where you have heavy ammo you have sniper ammo now that they've added to the game you have energy ammo and you have light ammo also armor you can get five of them and you can find them on the ground in chests or off dead bodies you can also get money as well and you can earn the money by getting money from finding it or killing people or challenges and challenges scavenger challenges you must find loot chests these have to be the specific ones and assassination challenges actually give you a target and tells you where they are and you can also get a recon challenge which will send you to a certain part of the map i think just kind of do some recon or something like that i'm not really sure maybe it's just like for uh follow where you find a new place and you discover it you get x amount of xp for discovering it also there's buy stations where you can buy a bunch of items so in the buy station there are armor plate bundle this is five armor plates used for replacing broken armor for fifteen hundred dollars a shield turret for two thousand dollars cluster strike for three thousand gas mass also for three thousand a precision airstrike for three thousand five hundred a uav for four thousand a self revive kit that kind of seems like the golden knockdown shields that you can get in apex legends which can allow you to self revive yourself and that's actually going to be for four thousand five hundred you can get a munitions box for five thousand and a loadout drop marker for six thousand also now the loadout drop marker is basically just a create a class now you can create a class for your in game with perks and it costs a lot of money seemingly getting the money is actually fairly hard to get in the game because it takes such a long time to get the money of course that could could be changed within the game it could make it easier to get the money i don't really know as of now so if you down someone and you get the teammate to kill them so you down somebody and your teammate comes along and just wipes them off then you actually don't get the kill which is dumb 
because you think that this would be kind of common sense to say well you knocked the guy so technically you did all the work you should get the kill but nope so this will be interesting to see if infinity ward actually does fix this because i can actually see them not fixing it which would be really really bad now if you die you are actually sent to the gulag which everyone already knew which is actually really cool because it shows a cool cinematic scene where you're being dragged in the gulag and thrown into your like little uh, prison cell and you have to fight a 1v1 with another person to respawn with your team which is pretty cool in my mind and this only happens once every match so if you're down twice so if you are down and killed off one you can go to the gulag and fight your way back and be released back to your teammates however if you were knocked and killed you are gone from the game altogether and of course if there's only one person left on your team and say two of your teammates are in the gulag one is spectating and one is actually currently in the fight the other player that's spectating can actually tell you where the other person is so you'd, it's kind of an unfair advantage and you can also throw bottles and rocks at the players as well which in my mind seems pretty cool but kind of weird is at the same time because does it actually do damage so if somebody throws a bottle at you will your aim sway when you're actually shooting somebody so your bullets actually go off so that gives the opposition time to actually shoot you i'm not really sure how it's going to work will it do damage to your health maybe 10 damage for a rock or 20 for a a bottle i don't really know now the gulag isn't for the whole of the game it's about 75 percent of the game or three quarters of the way through it will just shut down so you can actually buy a teammate to come back in the buy shop and this actually costs 4500 and it's actually on the right hand side whenever you play this is just kind of I don't want to say it. it's not a short video but this is just a really quick video I wanted to get out there because I've seen people asking a load of questions about it. and yeah this is pretty much majority about this game mode I'll try and talk about plunder in tomorrow's video or the next day but yeah uh, if you did like this video please hit the like button and hit the subscribe if you want to stay up to date about more Call of Duty videos and I'll also be uploading Apex Legends <coughs> and I'll probably be live streaming uh, every now and then as well depending on how I am doing in college if I have all my work and everything done and if I'm not doing other stuff I'll probably hop on Apex and just live stream on twitch.tv forward slash lord underscore origins link to my twitch will be down in the description below you can hit the follow button there and hit the notification bell and also hit the notification bell on youtube to stay up to date whenever i upload a video i also have a twitter which will be link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can also hit the follow button there and stay up to date whenever i upload a video or whenever i tweet out that i will be live and i manually update this regularly so yeah there's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace